Welcome to another latest video of SpaceX updates. In yesterday's Starbase activities, Booster 9 was removed from the orbital launch mount and placed onto a transport stand atop an SPMT for its journey back to the production site. During the late hours of the day, Booster 9 was rolled back to the production site. Several engine swaps are anticipated for the booster that experienced issues during Sunday's static fire test. Additionally, the installation of the hot staging extension ring on top of the booster is expected. For those unfamiliar with the term hot staging, let me provide a quick explanation. Starship Super Heavy Booster 9 and S25 are set to employ an innovative stage separation method. This involves igniting the engines on the first stage Starship before actual separation, while a few engines on the booster continue to run. This arrangement diverts the plume from the upper stage engines through vents on the extension ring. Where we light the engines of the uh, upper stage or ship, um, while the, the, the first stage or booster, booster stage uh, engines are still on. So, so we, we shut down most of the engines on the booster, leaving just a few uh, running. Moving on to recent accomplishments, SpaceX successfully completed another Starlink mission last night. The Starlink Group 620 mission, carrying 22 Starlink V2 mini satellites, was launched from SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. One. Ignition, engines full power, and liftoff of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Notably, the first stage booster used for this mission, B-1075, completed its fifth flight and made a flawless landing on the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You. Landing light deploy. Stage 1 landing confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for its fifth time. That concludes our current updates. Stay tuned for more exciting developments in the next video.